Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how to create and show notification in Android. So here I have already created this project. And first I will start with the build.creator. So for creating notification, we need the Android X core library. And here I have already imported Android X or I have already added this dependency Android X dot app compact app compact 1.3.1 so this will automatically add the android x core library now in activity main activity dot java here you can see that i have imported this notification compact which is in android x dot core dot app and similarly i have imported android x dot core dot app dot notification manager compact and the android x dot core dot app dot task stack builder now let's have a look at the project so here i have activity main dot xml which contains an edit text field with id edit text name and i will enter some message in this then i have a button with id button one when i click on this button it will display the message from this edit text field as notification okay and then i have this one more activity called message activity in this message activity i have a text view field with id text view one and in this message activity when the notification is clicked it will take me to this activity and display the notification or the message in this text view so let's go to main activity now in main activity at the top i have declared edit text as edit text one and button button one then in on create i have defined edit text one using the id edit text name and button one using the id button one then i have on click listener for this button one and inside this on click listener i show notification okay and for this i have a new method called show notification with which takes a string variable and this is outside on create here the on create ends you can see this is the beginning of on create and this is the end of on create so outside the on create i have defined a method called show notification which takes a string variable text and in this first i create a notification channel we have to create a notification channel in android 8 and above so first i create a notification channel and that is actually a new method so after this show notification method i have another method for private void create notification channel and inside this create notification channel method i check if build version sdk int is more than or equal to build version code o if it is more than or equal to build version code o then i define a character sequence called name equal to channel 1 and i define a string variable description equal to this is a new channel and i define an int variable importance equal to notification manager dot importance default and then i create notification channel equal to new notification channel with channel id name which is channel one and importance which is importance default and channel id so this channel id is actually a string variable which i have defined here at the top so this channel id is my channel one you can name it anything so this is used here in creating the notification channel and then i set the description of this channel to the string variable description this is a new channel okay and here we can change the importance to 
high, low, maximum, minimum, none or unspecified. So I will keep it default here. And then we define a notification manager equal to get system service notification manager dot class notification manager dot create notification channel channel. So this will create the notification channel and we use this code in beginning of show notification which we use in button one click. So when button one is clicked it will first create the notification channel then it will execute these tasks. So this is the notification compat dot builder and we use it to build our notification. So it is defined as new notification compat dot builder this which is the context comma channel id this channel id is the same channel id which we used here in creating the notification channel and i have already shown you that this channel id is equal to my channel one so here we use it again in creating the notification compat dot builder and then we set small icon for this notification i have set it to r dot royable dot ic launcher background you can set any other icon as the small icon then i have set the content title to new message and i have set the content text to underscore text which is a string variable in this method called show notification here you can see that this method show notification contains a string variable underscore text and here i use this underscore text to set the content text and then i set style to new notification compat dot big text style dot big text underscore text so this underscore text which is the string is also set as the big text which means if it is a large text with many lines then it will be able to display it then i have set the priority to notification compare dot priority default we can change this priority to high low maximum minimum so here i will set it to default and then i have set the content intent to pending intent and then I have set auto cancel true. So this pending intent will determine what happens when the notification is clicked. So we can use this pending intent to move to new activity or open the same activity again when the notification is clicked. So here I have defined this pending intent this is the code which I use for defining this pending intent. So first I define an intent variable as new intent this comma message activity dot class. So this is a intent which will take me to message activity dot class and I have set flags to intent dot flag activity new task and flag activity clear top so this will be a new task and i have put extra message as underscore text which is the string variable which this method text takes so underscore text is the extra for this intent and this is added using this key message and then I have defined task stack builder stack builder equal to task stack builder dot create this and then to this stack builder I add this intent I add this intent to this stack builder by writing dot add next intent with parent stack intent then I define pending intent equal to stack builder dot get pending intent request code 0 comma pending intent dot flag update current okay, so this will be my pending intent which i use in 
this notification compiler builder and after all this i define notification manager compact equal to notification manager compact dot from this and then notification manager dot notify with id 1 comma builder dot build okay here this is the builder so i build the notification and notify using id 1 and then i use this method show notification in button one on click show notification and the string variable which it takes is edit text one dot get text dot two string so the text in edit text will be the string here so it will be the extra for the intent with key message and it will be the content text of the intent and big text of the uh, notification content text of the notification and big text of the notification and then in message activity dot class i get this extra by writing get intent dot get string extra message as a string variable called text and then i display it in this text view which is text view one text one text one dot set text message plus this text which is the extra value of message so now let's check this project so here is the project and here i can write any message like hello how are you doing today and this emoji okay and when i click on notify it will send a notification with this message hello how are you doing today when i click on this notification it will open the message activity and it will display this thing message followed by hello how are you doing today and this emoji and when i click back it will exit the app so that's why in this video thank you very much for watching this